And Trotty Lanthorns, a resource that is so elusive, a lot of people have trouble farming it even till this day. In today's video, I'll be telling you the three methods of farming this resource, and I'm going to be telling you my and my personal best and most efficient method of farming this resource. So, where can we farm in Trotty Lanthorns? And Trotty Lanthorns are a resource in the Zeramon 10 0. There are three primary ways of getting this resource. First of all, we have bounties, of course, with different chances and, of course, different efficiencies as well. We have storage containers, and of course, we do have a sentinels as well, and I'll talk about that in just a second. Now, we have two alternative methods. We have uh, You have a small chance from excavators deployed in the Zermont system, and you also can get your Smita Kavata charm and hopefully get the resource that way. Now, on the wiki, it does say rare drop from enemies. Now, I've been playing extermination missions inside the Zeremon tile set for the past couple of months. So, three months, almost every single day, Zeremon missions. I am 98% sure you don't get them from enemies, only from crates. So, with it, that out of the way, let's continue on with the first one, bounties. So, we have tier 1, 2, and 3 bounties. Each one rewarding you with 1, and then, of course, for the second and third tier bounty, we get 3 in Trotty Lanthorns as a reward. Now, the percentages are 4% for tier 1, 2.5 for tier 2, and 7.41% chance for tier 3. Now, Honestly, if the mission is exterminate, do it. The exterminate is the best and the fastest mission that you can do in the Zeremon uh, tile set, so do it. Hopefully, you get three. If not, then unlucky. Now, the second one, storage containers. Of course, Smear Kavat is going to be very helpful here. A resource draw chance booster and a blessing as well, and a resource double booster just so you get more and make that more efficient. Now, pick up a Warframe such as Zaku, Chroma, or Limbo. All three maxed out on range, of course Chroma with Elemental Ward, Limbo with Cataclysm and Zok with all of a Devast on time. And pick yourself up an AoE weapon with a really big blast radius. Now I use the Tenant Envoy, of course if you have Primed Firestorm use it, I personally don't because I don't really play AoE weapons, but I picked Zaku. Zaku is of course in my opinion a really good Warframe for of course extermination missions. This is the build that I use if I want to break crates and make myself get at least one or two two uh, Entrati Lanthorns per one. Of course, Limbo Cataclysm, there you go, almost forgot what it's called, is extremely good as well, so you can use him as well, but honestly, Zaku is my favorite pick. Now, Sentinels. Sentinels have a mod called Spare Parts mod, which gives you a 45% chance on death of the Sentinel to drop a rare resource. Now, you can use Taxon, you can use Shade, Carrier, it doesn't really matter, Worm as well, any single sentinel as long as it is one and can equip the spare parts mod. Well, how is this gonna function? Well, first of all, you're gonna enter the mission itself. You're gonna go inside of your operator, go inside of void mode, let your sentinel die because the enemies are gonna target the sentinel first. Once the sentinel dies, it has a 45% chance of dropping you something. Now, in the base, you have four revives. If you have two arcanes, you have six. So if you die five times, you can repeat this five times over times 45% you have a pretty good chance of getting an Tardy Lanthorn. I play these missions every single day. Honestly, I've been extremely unlucky, but you might have better luck than I do. Now, we have covered all three ways of farming in Trotty Lanthorns and the three best ways. How to combine them into possibly the best way of farming in Trotty Lanthorns. If there's a tier 3 bounty, extermination mission, do it. You have a base 7.5, uh, 7.41, sorry, percent chance to get Entrod Lanthorns and three of them per completion. Then you pick up your Zaku with the Crate Breaker build and you pick up your Sentinel with the Spare Parts mod. Enter the mission, die five times over or four times if you're not secure, if you think you're gonna die one more time and not gonna be able to revive yourself. Then die four times, of course, if you have an Arcane. If you, have, if you don't have an Arcane, then die two times and revive your Sentinel two times and there you go. Hope that you get it from the spare parts mod, and if not, then run around the map, basically clearing out the whole map, and then just breaking crates and hopefully you get it. Now, another cool thing, Primed Animal Instinct or Animal Instinct is going to be extremely good on your Sentinel, because then you will see on the minimap if there's something on, that's dropped on the ground, a resource, or maybe even a Nyatan Sculpture or Void Plume. 
So, basically, that is my tip and my guide how to form Trolley Lamp Lanthorns. This is the, possibly the best way, honestly, with this sort of setup. So, enter the extermination mission, die five times, and then complete the mission. I usually get three or even four guaranteed, and I can get seven if I'm extremely lucky with the rewards of the bounties. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your lovely host, The Game Weasel. If you guys did, do leave a like, a comment, and do subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys on the next one. The Game Weasel over and out.